welcome or welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see by the title this is gonna be a U part maintenance slash revamp video I'm gonna show you guys how to wash color and style your old wig so that you can bring it back to life we're gonna take it from this to what you guys will see at the end be sure to like comment and subscribe let me know down below if you like videos like this and now we're gonna get into it so here I am just coloring the wig jet black. I had colored it when I first got the wig, but after numerous washes, the color kind of washed out. So I'm just doing it again. So I am using the Revlon Color Silk in number 10, which is black. Even though the color is not jet black, that's exactly what it makes the hair. As you guys can see, I am just putting that color all over. I didn't use any specific technique to do this. I'm just putting it on the hair and massaging it in as I go. I didn't have to do too much because this hair was already black previously. I'm just trying to revive that color because the whole goal of this video was to revamp and revive the wig. So we had to revive that color too. So you guys can just watch me color the hair until it's time to wash it out. I was getting my money's worth, okay? Every little drop counts. <laughs> time to wash the hair i am using the chi infra shampoo and conditioner my light just died right here but that's besides the point okay so as you guys can see here i am just detangling the wig i'm using a big paddle brush because these are best for getting through those hard knots to wash the hair as you can see there was a lot of product buildup in this wig that is from like heat protectants serums and different stuff like that so you want to make sure you thoroughly wash that wig i'm washing out the combs too because you know product gets stuck in there as well from your actual braids or whatever you have under your part wig So now it is time to shampoo the hair. I'm just showing you guys the shampoo that I'm using, which I already showed you guys previously. And I'm literally just putting shampoo everywhere, I'm running my fingers through the hair to try to get as much product everywhere as possible. It is important to wash your hair this way instead of rolling it up in a ball or washing it how you normally wash your own hair because you don't want to create any more knots or tangles throughout the wig. Once again, make sure you are thoroughly washing those clips too because they can store product buildup as well. out that shampoo you don't want to leave any of that product in the wig and make sure to wash the cap the band the clips everywhere else I repeated the shampoo process two more times after this off camera and then it is time for conditioner I'm showing you the one that I use which I already previously showed you guys I'm just putting this conditioner everywhere as well you want to make sure you thoroughly condition the hair because this part is very important Washing the hair is very important too, but the conditioner is what's really going to help bring it back to life.
make sure to run your fingers through the hair so you can get that conditioner everywhere. The goal is to make sure every strand is covered in product so that it can be washed correctly. So here I pulled out my big teeth comb so I can comb that conditioner throughout the hair evenly. As you can see we have some tangles and knots but that is to be expected. It's best to try to comb out those knots and tangles now while the conditioner is in the hair because it will make it much easier. So as you guys can see, I made sure to rinse the hair until all of that product was out. And now it's time for one of my favorite, favorite parts. Now this product is definitely is what is going to bring that wig back to life. Silicone mix, if you know, you know. And if you don't know, but it's a good thing you click this video to find out because I'm telling you now that if you don't have silicone mix, you should definitely get it to bring your wig back to life. Some people use this product on their real hair as well, but it may depend on the type of hair that you have. So I'm just putting the silicone mix everywhere as you guys can see. I make sure to get that everywhere because like I said, it is like the most important step. I'm using that comb again to make sure it's distributed evenly throughout the hair. sit in the hair overnight I put the wig in a plastic bag and then I continued the process in the morning so at this point I have rinsed out the silicone mix and I'm using some T pins to put my U part wig on my wig head please do not judge the condition of my wig head when you see it I'm just giving you guys a heads up can see I am just brushing the hair I am making sure there are no more knots or tangles before I start the blowout process this hair looks way better than what we started so I'm gonna use the Chi iron guard this is one of my favorite 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 heat protectants I swear by this product I've been using it for a while and then I also decided to try this Chi volume booster. This was my first time using this product and at the end it was definitely worth it. It just gave the hair more life. So I sprayed both of the products in the hair while the hair was still damp. I started off with the heat protectant and then I put in the volume booster. This was to prepare the hair for the blowout that was coming next. So I started off by sectioning out the last two to three tracks at the back of the wig. I prefer to blow dry in sections because it makes the hair look better in the end. I'm using my Conair Pro Silverbird Blow Dryer. This blow dryer gets super hot. 
I've been using this for the past about two to three years and it hasn't failed me yet. It gives me the perfect blowout. I don't always blow dry my wig. Sometimes I just leave them to air dry and I'll finish the process the next day or later on in the day. But for the purposes of this video and the look I was going for, I decided to use the blow dryer. One piece of advice, if you want that blowout look, make sure you have a good brush. I honestly do not know where I got this brush from. I've been using it, I think, since like 2017 and it just always gets the job done. So I continue to do the rest of the hair off camera. Here as you guys can see I'm at the top of the head literally at the last section of hair. Um, by this time the top of the hair was a little dry so I used my mister to just get it a little more damp. you want to go for once i completed that blowout i added some cheese silk infusion serum this is to give the hair some shine and body i decided that i wanted to wear this hair curly with some nice big loose curls so I'm using my one and a half inch wand. I honestly do not know where this wand is from, but I have this wand literally for almost like 10 years now. I don't know if it's just me, but when I curl my hair, I like to go in different directions. So sometimes I will go under the barrel, but here as you can see, I am going over. I just feel like that just gives the hair more volume and different dimensions. After every single curl, I was sure to spray my Sebastian Holden spray. It holds the curl really well without making the hair too stiff or coarse. curling the hair I went ahead and installed the u-part if you guys would like a video on how to install your u-part please comment down below I will be sure to give you guys one of those I actually had filmed one for you guys but I deleted the footage by accident if you watched my last weekly vlog you would have heard about that so as you guys can see I am adding mousse to my hair I'm using the lot of body mousse because that one is my favorite one this is the part that helps your natural hair if you are natural 
or just your leave out in general to mold and to blend with your U part wig. And then I put on one of these stocking caps. This is gonna be a really crucial part to making your leave out really flat for when we go under the dryer. under the hooded dryer i stayed under here for about 25 to 30 minutes just to ensure that my leave out was fully dry after that i took off the stocking cap and boom disaster no i'm just kidding that's exactly what it's supposed to look like if you're a natural babe like me automatically putting mousse or natural hair it's gonna make it curl up but that's okay i added the chi heat protector to my natural hair and then I went ahead and hot comb and flat ironed my leave out. I tried to limit the amount of heat that I was putting on my hair. So I just tried one pass of the hot comb and one to two passes of the flat iron. Yeah, but when I'm using that hot comb, I be all up in there. Like, I be basically about to burn myself. Not intentionally, obviously, but I be going all the way to the root because the goal is to get the hair as sleek as possible. I was trying to decide where I wanted my part in this clip I ended up as you guys will see in the end going with the middle part because I'm a middle part girl I love a side part every now and then but nine out of ten times I'm gonna get a middle part hey guys so I'm back I went ahead and did my edges and curl my hair off camera and I love it as you can see this is my leave out and it blends with my U part wig so don't let anyone tell you that you have to have perm hair or straight hair or whatever the case is to do a U part because you don't. You just have to do the steps that I showed you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like videos like this, be sure to comment down below and I'll definitely bring you guys more hair content because it's on the way regardless. Hair is from the Aquino collection. I'll be sure to link the Instagram and the website down below so you can go ahead and get your U part wig today. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Who's that girl?